upgrade that we just ordered the other day. This came in, I feel like it was about three days. Uh, we upgraded our, we're upgrading our internet to Starling. We live out here in the middle of the woods. We have no good service provider. We only, other than satellite, like dish and that, we only, and our cell phone, we only have this one uh, internet provider. I can't even think of the name of it right now, but it's not a big name. It's very poor. It's very slow. We've got them to come out and test it and try to improve it uh, with not, not a very good success. So I work from home and I need the internet. And then when the kids are here and the wife and we're streaming TV and movies, uh, it's just really slow and everything slows down. The TV freezes up. So Starlink was a little bit more on the expensive side. You had to buy the hardware. Uh, it was $600. Now it is $350. Uh, I bought this mount. This is a wall mount right here. Uh, this was, I don't know, I feel like 50, 60 bucks. Um, and then you get the receiver and everything. This is just the normal one. It's like $350. And then the service is $120 a month. Um, if you want to sign up, message me. I'll get in contact with you. I can get a free month and you'll get a free month when you purchase. So $120 off one month free service. Hey, it's something. Uh, $120 worth. $120 value. So anyways... I got the wall mount. I'm going to mount it outside on the front of our house, kind of by where our uh, router is currently, and hook it up in that area so I don't have to run the cable as far. You have to download the Starlink app. You'll scan the sky. You'll see that here in a second. Uh, it shows you, you want to do that, figure out where you're going to position, maybe what kind of mount you need, because you could put it out in the yard on a pole, but I don't really want that. Um, so we're going to mount it on the house. But um, yeah, this is the wall mount kit. They have good instructions on the app that show you how to install and set up your Starlink. It's a very, very good instruction video. Anyways, and from what I've heard from some neighbors that have it and other people that we know that have it, it's pretty fast internet, especially if you have crappy internet. So, and then there's mobile, there's a smaller receiver. You can get the small, the mini, the smaller stuff now. You can put it on your vehicle and have internet on the go. I'm sure it's just a matter of time before you can connect while you're on an airplane and have internet. They already have it to where you can buy different subscriptions, have it while you're on a cruise ship. So have internet all the time and not have to buy um, like cruise lines um, internet. So or the airlines internet in time. And you'll save money that way. And you'll have this internet and you can take it wherever you go. All right. So sorry for all the talking, but that's why we got Starlink. And I'm going to go ahead and get it set up and just show you how it works. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be uh, night and day difference here with speed and everything. This is the wall mount kit. It comes with a pretty easy instruction setup guide pictures and there's I don't even think there's any words it's all just pictures pretty simple a few pieces like I said this was around sixty dollars all right and that you'll need one of the setups you'll need one of the mount kits there's different styles uh, to mount your receiver here's the actual box it's pretty nice packaging this is gonna be the receiver antenna um, wiring and router we have our receiving antenna here it's pretty good size about well 14 inches by about 24 inches and then cables power uh, router very simple instructions a big card a QR code you can scan that will take you to the setup uh, I mean, they got this all figured out. This is, this is the cord that goes from your um, receiving antenna to your router. And this here is the Starlink router. Not much to it. So with this, they give you a bag of clips for the cable so you can secure them. 
clean link and then they even give you Starlink silicone to put in your holes seal it up pretty nice so our modem our, our uh, yeah modem our router is going to be right in there in the office so i was trying to figure out the best way to put this uh receiver antenna i was going to run it up the corner trim and mount it up there on the side of the uh eve because you need to have it to where there's no uh no block blockage from the house uh, and then somebody brought up a good point. This thing has a heater in it, but I've watched some YouTube videos and you do have to watch snow. So I um, I decided not to put it up there in case we get snow. And I, like I said, there's in the app, you can turn a heater on or it's automatic. So it does melt snow off of it. But in case there's an issue and ice and you got to take a broom and brush it off, I don't want to be climbing up there on a ladder in the middle of winter. So I'm just gonna mount it right here on the corner. I'll route my cable around under the gutter there. And then I got two grommets coming. One's gonna go on the inside, one's gonna go on the outside from Amazon. I'll put them here in the video. Just use a, run your pilot drill bit through. Make sure you don't hit any electrical uh, wires or anything or stud in your house. Uh, and then use a three quarter inch spade bit and open the hole up so you can pass your cable through. I'll show you that. So where I'm mounting this, I got the wall mount kit. It was like 60 bucks. Two, two bolts go in here and I'm mounting it uh, right there. I already drilled my holes. So this is gonna mount there and I'll show you when it's all installed. Real simple, this just pops down in. There's a thumb screw. You can loosen this up and turn it and then tighten it up and then it won't rotate anymore once you get it where you need it. Got the SpaceX silicone. I'm gonna put silicone in the holes, set that up there, thread these two lag bolts in. Their lags are pretty long. They're probably four inch lags. This bolt I got in most of the way, don't tighten them up. This one, so this one, the, the bracket sits down on it. You'll capture it and then just tighten this upper one up uh, wherever it is. But you just want to run them in until there's just a little gap. You don't want to run them all the way in tight till you got them both in. And like I said, on, whenever you get the app, it's so good that it'll show you how to install all these different mounts uh, that you can purchase. And uh, so they're like three minute videos and very helpful. But I'm just gonna show you how I'm doing it, my process. So those are both snug now, like that. There's, all right, so I got this, I don't even know how long it is, 19 millimeter, three quarter inch spade bit. I'm not sure, it, it's pretty good length. It's probably, I don't know, 20 inches. So I'm gonna bore through the wall with that. And then I got these rubber grommets, they open up. We'll put silicone on them and stick them in the wall on both sides off Amazon for like eight bucks. All right, with this, you have to remove this to add your base for the mount. This kickstand, I think they call it, you have to pinch this bottom piece and this, and then it releases. When you pry up here, you can see those two tabs, so you have to get those so they're out. All right, I was really struggling with that. If you can put this end up against something, my wife put her foot against it, I put it on the floor. You just, you have it like this, you put your two fingers underneath there, squeeze up, and you pull out and up. I was having a real hard time with it. So, this kickstand's removed now, we got the base. You have to run your wire, your, your cable, through the tube, uh, through the mount, through the tube. Uh, into the base plug it in and then you snap your base in once it's plugged in so it's covered and protected Here's the instructions of the wall mount pretty simple instructions it goes in right through here somehow Push it up through, And it'll sit in that notch like that and then we're going to route it down through this hole. I'm 
guessing you line up these two dots that would only make sense and it's a pretty smart installation then when that's sticking out through here we're gonna plug it in that tab is gonna be up like that take and plug this in can you hold it you're gonna have to hold it because I'm gonna push all right it's plugged in and then we'll clip this into place pulling your access cord out here all right then you push this up and it'll clip into place it's got you can see these tabs back here will lock into those same little well you can't really see them now but those locking positions and you hear it clip into place now that's locked all right so then you just set this in the the base and now you could run the wire up through it would be kind of a chore i'll just take the other end and you're gonna pass it it's gonna come from right here down into this hole from right here and then there's a cover plate that goes on here. This is the thumb screw that will lock it. So you, we'll have to use turn this until we get it positioned correctly once it's hooked up with the app. But until we get to that point, you leave just leave this loose. Unless you're going to come back another day, you might want to snug it up so the wind doesn't spin it around. All right. Now the cable is ran. It's coming down through there like so. And then we just have this base plate, which it just slides over like this and clips up into place. So, and it's going to snap in. So I, uh, we just taped the cord to the end of the spade bit to pull it through the wall since it's got a, you know, I don't know, eight inch gap, six, eight inch gap in between the wall. So they sell a tool to do that, but you can just tape it to a rod or whatever you have uh, and pull it through. So she's just running in. They have self tapping clips. There's probably about 15 of them that come with the kit. She, and they're pretty simple. Just wrap around the cable, self tappers. And we're just keeping it uh, up along the uh, E. Then this cable plugs into the back here, the oval one, and then the power cord plugs into the right, and you're up and running. Then you have to go to the app and set everything up, your account. The round plugs into the back of the router, this one, into the back. And then this connection here plugs into the power, and of course the outlet. When you have that little light in the corner right there, you'll know your power is on. All right, of course it's uh, going into winter. It's warm, 65, but she ran the cable along there with those clamps, came down the corner. All right, you can see Starlink is now an option on the Wi-Fi. It'll direct you in the instructions of setup and then connect to Starlink. Uh, it shows we're connected now. And I'll just keep going through the app instructions. So it directed me right to that. And uh, just keep following along. It tells you step by step. The instructions are great with this system. Okay, it shows online. Uh, it says Starlink is misaligned by 15 degrees. And then uh, I got to configure the Wi-Fi, update, all kinds of things. But I'm going to hit the Align Starlink. I'll probably have to be up so you can see we just need to turn it a little bit. And that will probably line up. I'm not going to be able to show it on the screen. But you'll just turn it and that will ro rotate on the screen until you're good. And then we'll lock that thumb screw down up there. So you will rotate it. And you'll see it move on your screen and that block will the box around it will turn bright white and tell you Starlink is aligned. So simple. I love it. Then we're gonna tighten this thumb wheel down on the 
on the base. All right, now Starlink is doing its uh, setup and says Starlink is calibrating and gathering data on obstructions. This usually takes about an hour. All right, here's that grommet. It opens up so we can put it around the cable. I got the Starlink silicone. I'm going to put that around it, seal it up from the elements. So first I'm going to put it on around like so. Then I'm going to silicone it up. All right, so I put the silicone around it, pushed it in three quarter inch, used that three quarter inch spade bit. That silicone will set up, not let any moisture or anything in the hole, in the wall. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing in here with the, on the inside wall. Another one of these grommets. Nice simple bead of silicone. And then push it in the wall. There it is. It was so easy to set up. Once you hook this up, it charges you automatically. Your service fee, it doesn't charge you until you actually get to this point. And then you have to connect your account. I'm gonna do a speed test. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere with crappy internet. Um, so, we are currently running at 192 megabytes per second. I think that's what that stands for. Um, before, we were running at like six on our old one, so this is so much faster. It's beautiful, in the middle of nowhere. No obstructions. All right, so with the Starlink, um, if you don't like it, you have 30 days, you can get your money back for the service and the equipment. Um, I was just trying to figure out, we have this Verizon wireless uh, booster because we don't have good cell phone service i know you can just work i think you can just do it off the wi-fi also now but like i do with my work phone but i was just wondering this actually you have to plug in uh it's plugged in right here to the back of our old uh router so i just was looking at this there's a there's a little rubber block here that pulls out and i don't know if you can see it but in there you can plug uh you can plug those cables in to the back of this router so we'll be good to go there i i didn't look at read or look at the instructions but just found that so we're good to go and i can turn off our old internet anyways uh thanks for thanks for watching i appreciate it and uh if this helped you at all, please like and subscribe. Six, five, four, three, two, one, ignition. And with the Falcon 9, go SpaceX, go Starlink. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal.